Now we have some big breaking news coming in that a US court in California has ruled out the imprisoned Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Taha Rana who is sought for his involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attack and can be extradited to India. The NIA is hopeful that Canadian Tahabul Hussain Rana may be extradited to India to face the trial. The decision on the NIA's request is expected by May 20. Now a total of 166 people including nationals from the US, Israel and other countries were actually killed in these attacks. I have CNN News 18's Arunima joining me on the broadcast. Arunima, a very good morning to you. Could you give us more details about that? So now the first round of court order has come and the court there in the United States has allowed the extradition of Tawahur Rana. This is a huge victory for the National Investigation Agency and for the Indian government because we have not managed to get David Coleman Hedley. Uh, David Coleman Hedley was the man who came to Mumbai and carried out a recce of uh, Taj, of Kolaba and of all the places that we saw ultimately medley yet attacked by Kasab and uh, his, his men. Uh, Tawahur Hussain Rana, a childhood friend of David Coleman Hedley, as per investigators, was aware of his plan and he helped him. Rana used to run a travel agency and he facilitated Hedley's uh, trips to India using the cover of the travel agency. So he, he has complicit in the conspiracy as Hedley and uh, Hafiz Sayyid and the others. Uh, so this is a huge victory. Uh, first round, they said, has been cleared. Now we'll have to wait and see if Rana appeals against this in a higher court and if uh, the higher court also upholds what the lower court in, in US has said. But NIA for now is upbeat uh, that Rana will be brought to India and he will face trial. Arinima, well, the sources have told us that the extradition has been requested and on which the United States is currently processing. What do we know about the process that is going on currently? Like I said, the court order is before uh, the Biden administration now. And in this case, the Biden administration has supported Indian government. This extradition plea uh, was actually made by uh, the U.S. Uh, government before the court of law. Uh, the U.S. government has argued in favor of India as to why Rana must be extradited. So uh, we have the support of the executive there. And now with this judicial pronouncement, it, it's a big boost uh, to India, the uh, in chances of getting Rana back up. Uh, but of course, uh, NIE officials are pointing out that the option of further appeal uh, could, could be explored by Rana's legal team. Uh, it's most likely that the Biden administration will oppose uh, any any such move by Rana to stop his extradition. Uh, they, they oppose his uh, move to strike a plea bargain as well. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what the legal team of Rana really plans from here on. But as of this moment, Indian government is quite upbeat, NIA is quite upbeat, that they will get Rana here to India. They will manage to get him excited to face that. Arunima, thank you so much for all those details.